Right, there you go, I used to play hockey a lot, so I got yeah. two concussions in hockey, but I've never had one in football, knock on wood. So hopefully it can stay that way. St. Xavier senior Blake Basevich knows the risk of playing high school sports. <laughs> so does his family. They're excited to be a part of research that could help prevent concussions. I remember my mom said she found out about it at the uh, mom's clinic. She's like, well, I really wish you could get one of those. Then one day Mike came up to me and he's like, hey, would you have any interest in wearing one of those? And I was all over it. I'd heard about how it was supposed to work and I was really excited about it. Blake is one of several St. X players who wear a cue collar, a device that controls blood flow into the head. Here's how the collar works. It's just a, a C-shaped device that we're going to take it and what it does is we wrap it around the neck and what it's doing is putting pressure on our jugular vein. And the jugular vein is the major highway of blood flow out of our brain. By putting a little kink in that hose, what we're doing is creating immediate backfill that fills that cerebrovascular tree, or we call it making an airbag for our brain. Dr. Greg Meyer with Cincinnati Children's Hospital has been testing the cue collar on high school athletes in football and girls soccer. So far, it's working. So we monitor, monitor how many head impacts occur, and then we look at the brain after the season and compare those that wore a collar to those that didn't. And we, again, we're seeing that the collar tends to have protective effects, meaning it's preserving the brain health during that competitive season where they might be having head impacts. Now his research is expanding to younger athletes and elite athletes in college, including top 10 football programs. A recent study showed that 90% of football players had CTE, a debilitating brain disease that can only be detected after death. So a device that prevents brain injury could be the key to keeping athletes in the game. I had a, a parent that started crying on the phone when I, I told her that we were doing this study because she was so excited because she was worried that her son wouldn't be able to continue to play sports anymore. Um, and it was a really uh, eye-opening moment for me to see like this is, you know, these are their babies, these are their, their sons and uh, their brains are very important to them. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate there are 300,000 sports-related concussions every year. Dr. Meyer hopes to get FDA approval for the cue collar in hopes of drastically reducing that number. Elise Jesse, WLWT News 5.